Hey folks, how's it going? I'm Josh. Today we'll be checking out Season 1, Episode 2 of Peep Show. So let's um, jump into Episode 2 of uh, Peep Show. Episode 1 was really, really good. And really, really, um, a lot of uncomfortable moments. I want to say, what's the best? Like, awkward, cringy moments. Okay, where's today's cartoon? Hmm, not bad. No discernible romantic overtones. Okay, Pen, let's flirt with Sophie. What the hell is that? That is very gay. That's what that is. <laughs> Come on, go crazy. You're hungry like the wolf. I'm giving her a love heart. Yes, that's She's good. Nice, no, no, it's not good. It's terrible. Think crazy horse. Think in your face. What would Jeremy do? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Love's for Nazis. Yeah, crazy love. Nazi love. I'm oh a nutter. God, and then I go and seal the deal by doing something wicked like this cartoon. Swastika love. It's bloody mental. Single worst single bloody idea ever. I mean, a swastika. It's gone. It's happened. Oh, yeah. Do what Jeremy would do. Thanks, Jeremy, you tit. <laughs> she's ignoring me. Of course she's ignoring me. This morning I sent her a bloody swastika. Jesus. This is the worst thing that has ever happened to anyone, ever, and... Relax, Mark. You're not Hitler in his bunker. He was really under the cosh. Mind you, at least he had a girlfriend. OK, enough mooning. Let's strap on the nose bag and eat some serious work. Blown it with Sophie. Who's next? Big Sue's? Never met her. Not necessarily a disadvantage. Why don't I get this fixed? Why don't I ever get this fucking thing fixed? Every night it's 50... Ah, oh, it always comes out eventually. Fuck it. Hey, Mark. Like the cartoon? Oh, I'm so... You did? Yeah, it's, um, it's meant to be me and Barbara from Personnel, right? And uh, she's handing me this heart of holiday pay. Um, but in the heart, it's just... Race hate? Exactly. <laughs> That's so Barbara. She's such a racist. <laughs> <laughs> Right, exactly. <laughs> uh, listen, Sophie, I, I was just wondering if I could get your home number. Uh, I mean, just for work, in case I need to swap a shift, or that is, if you don't... No, I don't, if that's what you want. She's actually writing it. There you go. See you later. Oh, hang on, this isn't enough numbers. Oh, no, it, it is enough numbers. Do. Oh, God, I hope she doesn't mind about my balls. <laughs> One step out of line. I'm enjoying the show. I know you guys say it gets extremely, like, really, really funny, like, later on in the series, but there's still funny moments now, already. And, um, just the, the cringiness, man. Just the awkward moments. They do a great job of just making you feel uncomfortable for the character, man. That dude makes me feel uneasy. Um, I like that he brought up about having weird balls, man. That was, that was probably my favorite moment from the first episode. Just the face he made, like, the look of shock. Um, which is fantastic. I love the internal dialogue that they um they have, and I'm wondering later on in the series is it always just going to be just them two? You only hear their internal dialogue, or do they start um I don't know peppering in other people's too? Because I would like that like when he's acting real weird, it would be cool to kind of hear what the lady is thinking. She seems kind of mellow, but this dude just I don't know. It's well done. He's super awkward. I don't know how this dude trips over himself so much. It's ridiculous, and it makes you feel super uneasy. Um, yeah, this is great. This is great. I'm enjoying the show. Honestly, I don't have a ton else to say about it, man. I don't like to, you know, stretch out something with just a bunch of filler mess. Um, usually just say whatever I can think of, and then after I'm done and hit stop, then I think of something else, and it's already, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I'll type it. All right. All right, guys, I guess that's it, man. I guess that's all for this one, man. Hopefully, you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.